Hey guys, Degas here from Go Boxing TV. So I've just watched the uh, Eddie Hearn interview on IFL TV, which was filmed on Friday afternoon, I believe. Um, now, I have to say, up until this utter shit show with Conor Ben's failed drug test, I've always been a massive fan of Eddie Hearn. I've, I've thought that he's probably the best promoter in boxing, really good for the sport um, and loved what he's done and what he stood for. Um, and I thought that he had morals and integrity. And now I am really starting to question that. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed with the interview from Coogan as well, because obviously we know that they're friends Eddie sort of made a point at the start of the interview that people would probably think that they'd have discussed what they're going to talk about beforehand. And, you know, I'm sorry, that is how it comes across. Because Coogan wasn't pressuring him. He didn't seem to be asking him, like, the the digging questions, the fundamental questions that mattered. Um, and it did come across as though, like, it was just a friend interviewing a friend. It wasn't a genuine interview like it should be with probing questions. A um, couple of things. just want to reiterate from one of my previous videos where Eddie Hearn is adamant to say that what is the point in signing up to VADA testing if you aren't going to recognise their findings? Now, yeah, OK, ultimately... They've pulled the fight, which is the right decision. However, I'm sorry, I do, I just do not believe that this fight would have been cancelled if the the male hadn't put out that press release telling the public what had actually gone on. I I genuinely do not believe that this fight would be off right now if that story hadn't come out. And I do think that Eddie Hearn is telling a few porky pies when he says, there's one point in the interview, if you go watch it, where he says that the British Boxing Board of Control had already said that they're not going to sanction the fight way before. I think he said like the week before or something or the week running up to it. And it just, to me, it doesn't add up. It's like someone's telling lies somewhere and it appears to me like he's trying to worm his way out of it and he's going back on all of the things that he said before. So right now I am question questioning his morals and his integrity and it's really, really disappointing because as I've said in previous videos, I, I love this sport. This is why I started this channel and it's just... Really, really, really disappointing that this is all going on. Um, I just don't know what to say. I just don't know what to make of it. All I know is, is that I smell a rat. Something somewhere has gone on behind the scenes that we don't know about. And he is basically telling lies and trying to worm his way out of it. One thing that I'm almost certain on. I'm 99% sure on. This fight would still be going on tonight if the story hadn't leaked. I've watched his body language on the video. I've looked at his facial expressions as he's answering the questions. And I'm sorry. Yes, I could be wrong. I'm no body language expert or anything like that. But I reckon if he was put up to a lie detector machine, if he was hooked up to a lie detector machine, he would fail. I honestly, truly believe that. Now, you know, I could be wrong, but unfortunately in this instance, I'm just really disappointed in Eddie Hearn, in Matchroom, in this whole saga. So I'd be really interested to know what you guys think. Thanks for watching my channel. Please let me know in the comments what you think about this. Let me know your thoughts. Please do hit that thumbs up. If you've not done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Help me to grow. I'll keep bringing the videos. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.